The first trailer for Rebel Moon from Zack Snyder and Netflix dropped today. I'm going to take a look at this one next. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's the Outlaw John Roca here, excited to be diving into this first look at Rebel Moon. You know, we've seen some behind the scenes stuff, we've seen the photos that have been dropped in certain magazines showcasing the style and the vibe and the energy that we're going to get from Rebel Moon, and certainly Zack Snyder, no stranger to drumming up interest in his projects, still people arguing about the Snyderverse, arguing about his Justice League, and of course, his Army of the Dead was fantastic as well, his project with Netflix before this one, so I'm excited to see what we're going to get. I mean, cautiously optimistic, but excited at the same time, because I do trust in Zack Snyder, but the cast itself of this one, I'm not the biggest fan of. I don't really see a lead character, lead actor here that has proven to be able to lead a project. That's kind of how I feel about this before we watch it. I'm hoping that I'm going to be blown away by it, and it's going to be incredible. So we shall see. All right, without further ado, let's take a look at this one here, Rebel Moon from Zack Snyder and Netflix. Ooh, a little gladiator vibe there. Oh, that's totally gladiator. What are we talking about? Do you about? know the story of the Princess Issa? Mama In myth, she was called the Redeemer. It was said this child would stop the madness of war. Wow, oh, gentlemen. It's good she and was to usher in a new age of peace and compassion. Mama Oh. I was given memories of a world I will never see. Loyalty to a king I cannot serve. And love for a child I could not save. What do you think they want? Huh? I mean, how is that not Tiffany Smith found her? It's so weird to tell it. But still. I am a child of war. I was taught that love is weakness. Wow. There is a difference between justice and revenge. Oh. I mean, that's... How do you deny that Star Wars? There is a price to pay for your defiance. A lot of Dune vibes off this one. Shh, shh, shh. One moment. Oh, sorry. I do love this part. Hold on. I don't want no trouble. We're not here to bring any. Are you ready? You and I both know fear. Let's show them that we're not afraid. And show them we are more than the shackles that bind us. John from Mars a little bit. A king is a man, and a man can fail. But a myth is indestructible. The time has come for all that you love. Protect each other and show them no mercy. Wow. Who among you is willing to die for what you believe? Mm. <laughs> I mean, visually, as I suspected, stunning, stunning stuff here from Zack Snyder. Was some of it, uh, does it feel derivative of other stuff we've seen before in sci fi, other big franchises? Yeah, I would say it does feel that way, but just because it's derivative doesn't mean it can't be damn good if you do it in your own way. And it certainly feels like Zack Snyder is doing it 
in his own way. I still feel like there's not a star here. I like Sofia Batella. I like Charlie Hunnam, but neither one of them have been the leads of projects that have got eyes on them because of them. At least with Army, it did, yeah, Dave Batista and Batista, although hadn't been a proven commodity, certainly was someone who was coming up. And a lot of people felt Batista, uh, a lot of people were impressed with Batista's acting talent here. Hunnam has had a number of bites at the apple. Sofia Batella finally getting one here, but I don't know necessarily that over, and Ed Scrain as well, I don't know necessarily that it's as strong of a crew as you would like to see in a film like this, but, as I said at the beginning here, visually, it may be enough to overcome it. The story may be enough. I mean, this feels very Dune-like, all these different worlds, uh, this rebellion against this uh, king who it seems like he could care less about everybody. He's more caught up with being in power. So certainly laying the groundwork of stuff that we have seen before in numerous different sci-fi um, or fantasy uh, uh, franchises, uh, and books, so nothing really new or groundbreaking in that way. But again, the direction and the uh, special effects and the cinematography and the look of this thing is astounding. Just absolutely astounding. It gets me excited to see what we're going to get here and give it a chance. And certainly, as I said, it's split up into two parts, as you saw at the end there. We're going to get one part here this Christmas, another part next year. So, uh, you know, in Zack Snyder, I do trust for the most part, other than Sucker Punch. So I am excited, but I'm still cautiously optimistic that I'm going to have some issues with some of the acting or some of the story beats. And, you know, you can have all the visuals you want, you can have all the cinematography you want, all the great direction that you want, but if the story is kind of clunky and the performances aren't really believable in terms of the emotional storyline that you're laying out for them, then that's going to affect your overall enjoyment of a project like this and this one is aiming for the stars literally and figuratively in this trailer for sure um what do you think do you like it do you like seeing joe Manansu? by the way i mentioned it in the in the reaction there he's so fantastic in gran turismo so i like that he's getting a little bit of a second wind here and more and more projects are including joe Manansu on there we didn't get much charlie hunnam so what's your thoughts on that uh, Sophia Batella, Ed Scrain, did you like the way things are being laid out? Did you like the different visuals and images, different sets that we got, the different looks, different outfits and costumes, and the way this story is progressing here to where we end up with this rebellion crew, these four people leading a rebellion against this king by the end of that last shot of the trailer? Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. Hit a like on this video, share it on your social media, and you know, more than anything else, please subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, so you see when we're dropping all the content we do here on the outlaw nation channel all right you guys are awesome thanks so much for clicking play on this video and i'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video here on the outlaw nation mm -hmm.